is Alan Sanderson. I, along with my brother Brad and my son Jake, run this farm here. Uh, we do about two and a half acres of flowers and a half an acre of tomatoes where we grow the tomatoes, actually harvest the tomatoes and sell them to local stores. Right now, we're doing both. We got the flowers going. Most of them have been planted already. Uh, they should be ready for Mother's Day. And the tomatoes will be ready about the middle of May. As far as how long Fairview Farms has been here, we started on this property with the flowers in 1984. But Fairview Farms has been in Whateley for, well, my son's the ninth generation farmer in Whateley, a Sanderson farmer. Uh, it started as a small dairy farm, we grew into a larger dairy farm back in the early 80s, mid 80s. We grew a lot of tobacco, which was for cigars. That market has since dwindled. We got more and more into the flowers and greenhouse vegetables like the tomatoes. We also do about 100,000 mums every fall. This is a house full of geraniums, which will be ready again for Mother's Day, which is in about six weeks. We'll take a walk through and see what else we got. This house here is full of million bells. They're all on a bench and hanging up will be fuchsias. And they're a big time uh, Mother's Day gift. And they will be ready for Mother's Day. Doesn't seem possible, does it? Yeah, what you're looking at here is New Guinea and Patience with Dracaena in the middle. It's in a 12 inch patio pot. And there's about 5,000 of these right here. As you can see, these are all on benches. And we do that to save room. There's one alleyway for every 30 feet. And if you want to get over to that side, you just crank the whole bench right over. Now you can get down that side. So we save about 30%, we get 30% more growing area by having only one alleyway. In a normal greenhouse you'd have an alleyway in between every bench. Another few weeks all these 10 inch baskets here with the hooks on them will be big enough they'll need the space and they'll all be hung up in these areas. It'll be about two more weeks. So we'll have product on the benches and hanging up. This is our tomato house. These tomatoes were seeded back in January, about the 4th or 5th of January. They were transplanted into these buckets about the 1st of February. And in two months time from now, which will be about the middle of May, we'll be picking tomatoes. And we'll continue to pick tomatoes until about the middle of July. So we get two months of picking out of here. These plants will actually touch the pipes of them. They'll grow 10 feet tall. And then we break off the top to stop them from growing. The last two weeks of picking, we're on step ladders. That's how we pick them. We use a lot of biological items for controlling disease and pests. You can see the grasses that are hanging up around the house. They have parasitic wasps in them that run around. They All they like to eat is aphids. So we don't ever have a problem with aphids because of these little wasps. But they're you can see them with a the naked eye, but barely. And they just go around and take care of all our aphid, aphid population. These guys here, they're going through and they're taking off the suckers. He's going that way. So let's go down the other end. We can see them better. These here are suckers and they just keep coming. Every week we gotta go through this whole house and break off these suckers. Otherwise the plant, all the energy of the plant goes into the suckers and you won't get any tomatoes. There's a sucker here. So they break them off and throw them away. They also have to clip up the tomato. And we use these plastic clips. And you can put one on here. And that'll keep the tomato from falling down, especially under the weight. Each plant is gonna have over 20 pounds of tomatoes on it. And that much weight without these clips would be right on the floor. There's 4,000 plants in here. 
and then how many greenhouses? Well, we have this one that's a half an acre. We have the big one with the flowers in it. That's a half an acre. And then there's about an acre and a half of small greenhouses if you add them all up. Uh, one thing I failed to mention was these tomatoes, we get two crops a year out of it. So we'll have a crop this spring, which will go until the middle of July. Then we completely disinfect, throw away all these plants, start new ones. Around the 4th of July, we transplant out here in about middle of August. And in the middle of October, we're picking tomatoes again right up until just past Christmas. So you can get actual fresh tomatoes at Christmas time. What do you distribute to? Uh, we do a lot with uh, Black River produce out of Vermont, Atkins, um, Pure Foods, River Valley Market, Whole Foods, um, Millstone, most of the small grocery stores around here, as well as a few out in the Boston area. Wilson Farms takes quite a bit from us. Randall Farms down in Ludlow takes quite a bit.